Let's start off with good news in sports. Uh, Nigeria's the Tigers have emerged champions of the 2017 FIBA Women's Afro Basket after displacing Senegal 65-48 in the final this evening. Trailing by six points from the first quarter, the Tigers fought back to win the second quarter 21 to 10 points. The Tigers never looked back as they extended their lead by winning the third quarter 15 to 7 points on the fourth quarter 17 to 13 points. Point guard Osaritin Ekato emerged a top performer for Nigeria with 13 points, 7 rebounds and 2 assists. Nigeria also qualified for the FIBA Women's World Cup in Spain next year. Ayamba went goal crazy as they hammered troubled Ricky Torres 4-0 in a match day 36 of the Nigeria Professional Football League decided at the UJ Swene Stadium in Calabar. Goals from Ike Chukwe Ibenebu, Stephen Chukwude, Chinonso Okonkwo and Stanley Dingba ensure the seven-time champions compounded the relegation woes of Ricky Torres. Ayamba are still in third position on 57 points, same as Aqua United, who beat Lobby Stars 2-1 on Friday. Stephen Chukwude, that's exactly what we were talking about. This time again, he got up above the defenders, planted his header behind the reach of Wabulu. And you can see that's the family of uh, the club chairman, Felix Anyasia, who they celebrate. He might have made the mistake of going behind the wall, I would have seen on the And Connor driven it. And that is another one for Ejimba. This is atrocious defending for Wicked Tories. Chinoso Kokwa registers on the score sheet, and this is an absolute decimation of wicked Tories. We are yet to get to the half hour mark, and the people's elephants are three goals to the good. Superb, superb attacking masterclass here, and awful defending is got to be said from wicked tourists. When you mentioned that the Meanwhile, champions Inugu Rangers base eased their relegation worries with a priceless 2-1 away victory over relegated Remo Stars. Plato United were held to a one-all draw by relegation threatened Rivers United in Joss, but still maintain a four-point lead on top of the league table while MFM lost 1-0 to Abia Warriors. In other matches, Gomba United beat ABS 2-1. Nasara United edged past Kano Pillars 1-0 in Lafia while Abayomi Adebayo's goal for shooting stars in the 90th minute against El Kanemi ensured the Oluole Warriors left Meduguri with a point. Katsuna United beat Sunshine Stars 2-1 to keep their hopes of escaping relegation alive. In the English Premier League, Liverpool thrashed Arsenal 4-0 at downfield to compound coach Arsene Wenger's woes. Chilean striker Alexis Sanchez was available for the Gunners but could not stop his team from losing scandalously. Tottenham Hotspur were forced to a one-all draw at Wembley, while Chess Chelsea produced a dominant home performance to comfortably beat Everton 2-0 for their second win of the Premier League season. Elsewhere, West Brom and Stoke City had to settle for a share of the spoils at Hawthorns as the keenly contested ended one-all. we we'll bring in updates now on the Senator Issa Misao, who reportedly, allegedly by the Nigeria police, deserted without following due process. Senator reacting on uh, politics on Sunday, our political program, denied the allegations, uh, saying that he followed due process before leaving the Nigeria police. That I'm surprised. You should know that the issue of appointment issue of promotion, issue of discipline, issue of disengagement from the police, all lies under the Police Service, and Com uh, Service Commission. For him to say he doesn't know whether we are retired or him, because this is a letter from Police Service Commission. And the regulation which says if you want to go on retirement, what you need to do is to give three months notice or you pay one month in lieu of notice. And this is what I paid in December, 124,387. This is an original letter. The senator reacting to the allegations he deserted the Nigeria police. The 51st London Carnival celebrating the city's diversity is taking place. A colorful event draws thousands of visitors from around the world to London to enjoy the music and dancing and traditional paint fight that characterizes it. 
This year, however, as London celebrates, it also remembers those who would not be joining this year, having been killed in the Grenfell Tower fire. The carnival began with a minute's silence for those who perished in the Grenfell Tower fire. Mayor Khan pledged justice for the victims and to make sure those responsible are held to account. But remembering the horror of the Grenfell fire did not douse the mood of the carnival. So let's enjoy the brilliant music. Let's enjoy the brilliant food. Let's enjoy the brilliant sound systems. Let's enjoy the costumes. Let's enjoy the dancing. So there was a French percussion band playing drums. Dancers from Meraldo DC performing. And of course, the Rastafarian preacher, Jar Rafta Rahim, performing. One bright morning when my work is over. I will fly away. The song, Bridge Over Troubled Water, a charity single released to raise money for Grenfell Tower victims, was among many musical tributes performed at the ceremony paying homage to the disaster. Thousands of Rohingya Muslims are fleeing fighting that broke out in the Myanmar state of Rakhine into Bangladesh despite being turned back at the border. Fighting erupted when Rohingya fighters attacked 30 police stations on Friday and clashes continued on Saturday. They faced restrictions inside mainly Buddhist Myanmar where tensions with majority populations have been rumbling for years. Bangladeshi police say they had to force 70 people back into Myanmar on Saturday after finding them trying to make their way to a refugee camp, having entered Bangladesh in the Gumdum border area. Rakhine, said to be Myanmar's poorest region, is home to more than a million Rohingya extremists. Meanwhile, five climbers have been killed, one seriously injured in an accident near Kreml in the Austrian Alps. Authorities are not sure exactly how it happened, but that six people who were climbing the ropes appeared to have fallen together. The climbers were below the Malkanchate Pass, an area with a heightened risk of rock slides. The accident is believed to be the deadliest so far this season in the Austrian Alps, where dozens, several dozens of mountaineers die annually. Well, just before we close, we're getting this uh, piece of information. Police authorities and Senator Issa Mitsau are trading words over his disappearance from the police before be seeking a seat in the Senate. Once again, police authorities and Senator Issa Mitsau are trading words over his disappearance from the police uh, before seeking a seat in the Senate. Remember, the senator did respond this evening to allegations by the police that he deserted the police after they said he did not follow due process. And the main news again. Heavy downpour today ravaged over 2,000 houses in Makwadi, the Benue state capital, as residents and the state government trade blames over whose fault it is. That's it on the news of 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.